because for the people of North East Derbyshire, for anyone in this part of the world, it was a shock on the day after the election to wake up to the result in North East Derbyshire. And we need to put that right. And we need to put that right at the next election. And our next speaker, Christine Peace, has a fantastic track record as a campaigner, particularly as a campaigner for Orgreave Truth and Justice. And now she is the prospective parliamentary candidate for North East Derbyshire and the next Labour MP for North East Derbyshire. A big chest to welcome to Christine Peace. Christine. Thank you. Thank you, James. Thank you, Len, as well, for those kind words. Can I just say, North East, District, North East Derbyshire Labour Party members here today, thank you and welcome. And we have a banner up at the back, and at the bottom of that banner it says, Forward with Socialism. So on behalf of myself and the All Green Truth and Justice campaign, sincere thanks to Chesterfield's Trade, uh, Trade Council for inviting us to speak here today. We share this platform uh, that truly does celebrate our achievements, our determination for a more equal society and our internationalism. I grew up surrounded by miners, proud, diligent workers, working in hazardous conditions and the avoidance of disasters at work did not necessarily mean you did not suffer from illness at the end of that working life. And the recognition of certain mining related and illnesses and the pensions is something that the NUM still fight on today to reconcile for their members. <laughs> Our campaign attends this event every year and I know that out in this magnificent gathering there are many ex-miners and mining families and it is right to take a moment at this event to remember all of those in the mining industry who went to work one day but did not come home. All those who fought and argued for better working and safety conditions. We remember the strong, unionised industry and the way that solidarity and labour values helped to improve pay and conditions. But as we remember, let us never forget how a Tory government, cold, calculated, terrified, that there is indeed power in a union sought to destroy that industry. And in joining together today, we take inspiration from the great determination of our communities who stood strong and never gave up in that year's strike. We all here need to feed off that spirit. It isn't history. And don't let anyone tell you it's all in the past and we should move on. The response from that government then, we're seeing it happening all over again with this government. The pits may have closed, but the comradeship will never die. Even now, it continues to energise and galvanise. The Tories will always be quick to find new groups of people to victimise. And we find ourselves today in a world where our working rights are being attacked and in many ways we need to take that inspiration and liken ourselves to the miners of 84 and 85. We can all be miners in spirit and together, united, come what may, we will never be defeated. <laughs> Tory government, you may try and curtail your trade union, our trade unions with your trade union legislation. You may try and scare workers against organising. You may try and stop socialism and collectivism, but you forgot one thing. We are the many and you are the few. <laughs> An inquiry into the government participation and police operations at Orgreave is necessary to establish the truth and justice to enable miners and our communities and the police to have closure and move forward. Our campaign continues to fight to have the true narrative accepted and with your support we will right this wrong. Not just that one day either, but the whole state controlled response to what was simply an industrial action. And it was across our whole mining communities from Scotland down to Kent. And the occupation of our mining villages will never be forgotten. We live in a democratic society, and a democratic society demands 
truth and justice for historic wrongs. We'll be marking the 34th anniversary of what happened, that state-directed police rout at Orgreave on Saturday the 16th of June. Bring your banners, bring your support. We've got a stall here today where you can find out more details and purchase some merchandise. <laughs> Those who controlled what happened there will see their actions properly accounted for and we will achieve the precise and correct recording of our social and political history. And the Labour Party, under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn, have made a firm commitment that there will be an inquiry when they are in power. Yeah. And our campaign is proud to stand shoulder to shoulder with other justice campaigns they've made that promise to as well. Shrewsbury, Blacklisting, Camel Laird, we're all there on page 80 of the Labour Party manifesto. I am incredibly proud that the Labour members of North East Derbyshire have chosen me as a socialist, as a trade unionist, to be their prospective parliamentary candidate. I was proud to be endorsed by the GMB, Unite, ASLA, the CWU, Unison, the Bakers Union, Momentum and the NUA. And to my union, we celebrate the success in Parliament last week of the Protect the Protectors campaign. And we also applaud uh, GMB MP Steph Peacock for putting forward her private members bill, fighting up, standing up for agency workers. And any RMT members out there, you have got the chance to vote and re-affiliate to the Labour Party. Please make that vote a yes. In last year's general election, we did take, and, and last week's local elections, we took an important step forward across the country, but losing North East Derbyshire and Derbyshire District Council to the Tories last year and Derby Council this year is devastating for working people. Derbyshire is the front line and it is essential that we win. And a Labour government, a Labour government would create opportunities for all. The stakes are high. I campaigned for Jeremy Corbyn for leader both times because Yay! politics needs change. Yay! And a Labour government under Jeremy Corbyn would transform this country. Regional investment banks to drive the economy. Dignity in work, not exploitation and casualisation. Our beloved NHS transport and utilities owned by the public and not run for private profit. And sustainable, clean energy. And that means an end to fracking. And not just fracking in our communities, but the curtain down on it altogether. Something a Labour government is committed to. The work of Eckington against fracking Johnfield and Carl Aston against fracking and anti-fracking groups across the region is nothing but brilliant and commendable and let's give them a massive cheer. <laughs> and I appeal to you, having Lee Rowley, a Conservative MP, assure you he is against fracking will not stop it happening. His government is for it. His government will not stop it. He supports his Tory government with every vote in Westminster. And let's face it, even if Lee Rowley breaks the whip on fracking, he will not change the hearts and he will not change the minds of the rest of his party. No, he won't! Only a Labour government will stop fracking once and for all and we will look for cleaner, safer, greener energy. Well, it won't be easy, but we can do it together. We need to make people aware of life under the Tories in Derbyshire. Job centres closed, local banks closed, community hospitals closing, and community hospital beds cut. The Derbyshire Unemployed Workers' Centre robbed of their funding, funding that helps support those suffering the most because of the pernicious cuts of policy of the Tories and support that's been curtailed elsewhere as a result of cuts to legal aid. Library funding potentially cut 
refusing, the Tory council refusing to pay their lowest wage workers their living foundation wage allowance and their refusal to meet with union reps there. And look what's happening at Chesterfield Royal. Chesterfield Royal. We will stand with all the unions, Unison, Unite, anybody, we will stand with you and stop the fragmentisation of our NHS. <laughs> and this long and sorry list has happened in the last 12 months. That's what you get with a Tory-controlled county council. In these times we have to be strong and we can be stronger together. We must work together. Labour Party members, Labour MPs, Labour councillors with our trade unions. That terrifies the Tories and it terrifies their controlling entourage in the media and big business. When they attack our party, when they attack Jeremy, we know it's because they fear the repercussions of what the prospect of our socialist policies can achieve. They fear equality. They fear justice. They fear the many, and so they should. Let's pull together. Let's fight for a fairer society, and let's make North East Derbyshire red again. Thank you.